Roy and Mikey from Culture Club. How are you? We're good. We're good. Yes, excited. Hello, Phil. Hello, how are you? I can say that. Culture Club, because you you've reunited after 12 years. Mm -hmm. Is it exciting? Very. Yeah, it is exciting. We've, um, I guess, you, 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 the, things come at a certain time, and um, we, tried, we tried this a few years ago, and it wasn't right, so we didn't do it. And somehow this time, everything in the universe aligned, and George was in the right place, we were in the right place, yeah. we found the right producer, and we just went off and locked ourselves in the studio in Spain and had a moment, didn't we? We did have a moment. Yeah. I mean, I think what, what makes this more, um, a little bit more special than the last time we um, got back together is that the album this time round is, is so much stronger and so much better and it's really, really exciting now. I mean, we literally can't wait to get out and start playing the album. We've had a little taster at Heaven last week. We did. And that went spectacularly well. I don't know how, but it did. Well, we, we, <laughs> put, we put the new songs in with the old ones, and yeah. somehow, without us really consciously thinking about it, they just fit together yeah. like yeah. this. They it sounds like it was meant to be. They were yeah. bookending each other. Yeah. It was fantastic. It's almost as though there's a higher power that's taking no, I'm control. Telling, yeah. We had this moment, with the, you know, we worked with this producer, Youth, who's worked with everyone from Pink Floyd to McCartney. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. <laughs> but he created this atmosphere where he just let us be a band again, and I think we'd forgotten that yeah. we're just a band. Do you, you feel know? more relaxed this time around? Because you said it, it didn't really happen or it didn't feel like it was no, working because it was last always, time. No, oh, we've got to come up with something great, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. We're thinking about This time we didn't think. Yeah. We just literally, hmm. George would start singing, we'd start playing. We'd start playing, George would come in and start singing. And that's how we wrote all of our hits. But to be to be, to be be um, fair, the, the, the best songs came about when we were actually just sitting in George's living room yeah. with a couple of instruments, just the four of us, all other distractions out of the way. No machines, no other people in, in, in the way. Just the four of us with a couple of instruments. We sat down and we wrote about six, seven killer yeah. songs, yeah. which all ended up on the album. Yeah. I mean, they, morphed, as, they as made a morph fist. To, they did change a lot when we got them in the studio. Yeah, but as opposed to what we wrote a year, because we've been going at this about three years now, right? It's, it's, been, it's been an on and off process over the past three years. And as Roy was saying, it, it wasn't quite right. No, nah, we, we started, to, um, and we, we wrote about 10 songs three years ago only one of them has made it to the album yeah. it happens to be yeah. The Victims 2014 yeah. but right, right, it yeah. is a special song but yeah. the others were just they weren't right and we all knew that and so I think George needs to go off and do his album do his thing yeah. and get and build up go through his whatever he goes to go through and I think in a way we had to go off and sort of think about that as well mm -hmm. and then a lot had to do with youth I've got to be honest the producer really made a place for us where we could just be a band again as well yeah. I really do and that, and that got us all excited now everybody's so excited about the record so when we play the old songs, they're like they're like an old friend, and the new songs are like an exciting new girlfriend. And that's how so, it's meant to be, isn't yes. it? When you're in a band, you're no, meant to be great. relaxed but enjoying it, and exactly. it's not meant to be laboured. Well, it's definitely m much more relaxed. This yeah. Time around, for sure. And George is absent today because he's in the states. Yeah, he is. Is he's... that quite liberating for you not to have George here? Because I would imagine George is often the spokesman because he's yeah. the singer of the band. Yeah. I was quite excited about meeting you two guys because I've met George before and he's great, mm. fantastic to interview mm. and really, really good company as well. But, but it's nice to actually but. get another viewpoint from the band's <laughs> yeah, yeah, perspective. Sure, of course. sure yeah. No, I, mean, I mean, whether George is here or not, I think it's, it's he gives us a lot of space now. He does. You know, he's, he, he, gives, he, he gives us our like space to do our thing yeah. uh, and be ourselves. I actually think he's grateful to have the band around him again. Of course he is. I mean, I mean, the country... You Share know, the load. I think he realised... I mean, he went off and did his own album, as you said, about a year and a half, two years ago. And uh, he realised that he wanted to make music with us again, you know? And, and he came back. And so it, it, it works. It, there is some. There's a kind of magic with the four of us, and he knows it. That's a good song title. Yeah. Da, da, there you go. <laughs> there's, da, da, there's, definitely, there's, definitely a, there's definitely a kind of magic between it's the a four kind of us. Magic. I heard somewhere that um, he said he needed to grow up a bit as well. Yeah, I think so. And you know, have that time to go away and just to yeah, sort himself up, out. George. <laughs> <laughs> Does he seem like a different person to work with? No, I mean, professionally, because you obviously know him really well as you well. You know what? He is apart from the LSD problem. Lead singer disease. <laughs> I was getting slightly worried there. Where's this oh, no. going? But, but, but sobriety has played a part in all of this as well. Yeah, and he's looking fantastic. Every, everybody's a lot healthier. A lot, yeah. a lot, everybody's, you know, we're not sort of getting 
biting the necks off of chickens at midnight. And, uh, and stuff <laughs> we, like that, we still so. have some moments. We had a few moments in Spain. I mean, when we were in, we locked ourselves in a studio in Spain basically for two weeks. It could have gone either way. We didn't really know. We were we were like kids going on a school trip mm. in the airport. We're like, yeah. you know, could we, have been hell. Are we going to meet a new girlfriend? Mm. What's going to happen? You know, it was, it was really strange. You know, mm. and when we got there, we just started working almost immediately. Yeah, and actually. After youth took us up on this hill and prayed to the spiritual god for creativity. Yeah. <laughs> he, he has slight hippie <laughs> tendencies. Youth. That sounds amazing, though. That's like really stripping everything back, isn't it? It was yeah. really back cool. to basics. And we started, and we just didn't stop. Yeah. We just kept playing. We were doing two or three tracks a day. We did twenty. Uh, yeah, we put down twenty tracks in like fourteen I days. Think it's more twenty-two tracks yeah. in fourteen days. So yeah. maybe that's the twelve years that you spent apart. It's like the surge yeah, of well, this creativity. Is, this is, that well, it's funny. Through. It's funny you should say that because. Because I, I almost feel that there's even more to come now, so I'm almost I'm kind of jumping the gun and wanting to make a, another album. So know? will that happen? Well, we haven't even done this one. Right? <laughs> we haven't even... Are you taking it? You know, each day we, as it we've comes. We've got to take it one day at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, obviously last step. time you didn't feel it but, was really working. But, but I can feel the energy ready for another uh, uh, another one after this. Well, I, th- I think it's gonna. What we're trying to do is enjoy the experience rather than just create the. You know, coach it becomes a machine, and if it, the machine takes over your life, mm-hmm. you know, it becomes too much. That's mm-hmm. what happens. It's happened a couple. Of times, yeah, mm. and just it kind of has its own momentum. And if you're not if you're not enjoying the ride, you just want to get off. Mm. You know, no point doing it. Is we don't want to do that this time. Or... We don't want to do that this time. And it, it's it's it was such an exciting experience to make the record mm. and have that because we everybody George particularly George is so excited about the new record and really enjoying singing them and playing them that it's it's not like before, is it at all? It's a really diff- different thing. Because there's only so many times you can go and sing Karma Chameleon. And, 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 and it's great when you're in a big crowd and everyone gets excited. Yeah. But as a musician, it's really nice to play new stuff. And, and but I, I can't see us getting caught up in the in the machinery of it this time round. No, mean, I can't I either. I think we've got, we've got a clear vision of how we want to do things. And, and as I said, everybody's a lot more sober now. So, yeah, sure. So we know what we're doing. We're not going to let the thing take over. So we're not, not going to let it engulf us. Sure. Are there things that you're doing now and perhaps that you'd want to do in the future that you weren't doing, say, back in the 80s when you first started? Or even the late yeah, 70s? Yeah, we're putting in... We're putting in diminished chords in our music. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've definitely grown as musicians. I mean, the thing with the choosing the producer was obviously we we don't need a music producer. We don't need someone to tell us how to play, no. what to do. We're all pretty accomplished guys. You're old days. pros. We are. I mean, we really are. And that was one well, of the things. Let's for emphasis me. on the old. <laughs> yeah. That was the thing. Let's, let's emphasis on the yeah. old. But that was the thing <laughs> for me. Just looking, <laughs> looking around at the guys and and, and realizing, you know, nobody plays bass like Mikey. You know, and he, if anything, I mean, he's definitely got better, but he's still Mikey playing, I, yeah. and, I, and only Mikey can play with John because John's uncontrollable, <laughs> completely uncontrollable. So John's going to play what he plays, and then Mikey sort of has to hold it all together, no matter what John's playing. I have to go, whoa, you know? Nelly, yeah, yeah. whoa, Nelly. So Mikey's like the glue, <laughs> and you know, and then I'm sort of, you know, doing my music, mm. sort of leading the, the melody a little bit or whatever, yeah. and then George. Yeah. Is the most inspired lyricist I've ever worked with, yeah, and yeah. now I can say that because I have worked with a lot. Yeah, you know, I've written songs with a lot of people and done a lot of stuff. Yeah, and I look at George, and I don't know where it comes from. And he's mm. totally unique as well. I mean, not just the look of Boy George, but his his songwriting is his songwriting. Is there's absolute, nobody. His like songwriting him, really. is absolutely amazing. I mean, yeah. you, you can interpret his songs, the, the lyrics of his songs, in so many different ways, and that's what I love about it. I mean, we've got a song called Human Zoo. And, uh, you know, it could be interpreted as George's, you know, George writing about a lover or something. But, I mean, I interpret it as, you know, let's go out and embrace your fellow man in the world, you know. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's so many ways you can interpret his lyrics. Could so be. everybody will find something in his lyrics. And to, to be able to do that is an incredible skill. You know? But not even a skill, it's just something that just, it's, no, it's, just it's, comes it's, down from heaven. It, it just comes, I, I, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, you watch him and it does flow. It's incredible, you know. He'll go back and change things, but it is a flow, and it, and I know that feeling because we, we get it too as a band. Sometimes we just flow, like we can be writing it, and Mikey knows where I'm going to go. Mm. It's a natural that, thing, isn't it? it, it and and just... yeah, but it also comes with knowing each other as musicians exactly. for thirty years. Yeah. Yeah. it's bizarre, yeah. you know. Yeah. Now you mentioned uh, your heaven gig. I mean, you just touched on it there. It's an incredible thing for you as well because it's 1982, wasn't it, when you first played there? It was. Yeah. It was 32 years ago. One of the most yeah. iconic gay clubs, certainly in London. Well, in the UK, yeah. around the world. Yeah. Did it feel kind of strange being back there or was it... 
Or did it, it remind you of a lot of stuff? It, look, it was a bit like going back. To, you know, when you go back to your old, your old junior school, uh, your, your primary school, and the and the playground looks really tiny, <laughs> yeah. and the gate looks really small. That's what it was like. <laughs> Everything That's smaller. what it was like. It was, it was like that. Going yeah. back, it was like bloody. Hell, I thought it was much bigger than this. It was huge, and the stage would used to be huge. Yeah. But it was happened to it? we could hardly fit on the stage now. You know, the band's so big now. But um, that was lovely going back. It was did it really, bring back it was, memories of being there first time? Around? It was a really iconic gig for us actually. In the first the first time round as well. It was our first really big London show. We just signed a virgin we've made our record and we were showcasing it mm. kind of like what we just did really yeah. mm. but the mm. thing that changed for that gig was that it was Sunni from Record Mirror picked up on Do You Really Want to Hurt Me mm. out of all the set and nobody had really considered that as a single ah. before ah. and so she she mentioned it and then Simon Draper at Virgin went maybe she's right that could be a single and we went that's not a single mm. you know <laughs> and, we were, and, and next thing you know Diddy David Hamilton picked it as record of the week yeah. and without knowing what George looked like all the housewives went out and bought it <laughs> yeah. a bish bash bosh 37 in the chart top of the pops 37 17 2 1 yeah. and then we're off we go and then off we go and it, yeah. went, it went over it crossed over across the Atlantic went over to America in just a, a, a plain sleeve no nobody knew what George looked like scared of it they, they didn't know they didn't know what we were like at all but the, the radio jocks picked up on the record and just and started playing it and it got it got widespread airplay, and then on top of it came us. Yeah, the look of us. So the MTV then, crowd just, embraced us. Yeah, and it, it was went all, crazy. Though. It was it was bonkers. And yeah. the rest is history. The rest is so history. funny. I'm I'm staying quite near Psalm Studios right now. And I think one day we were in there the other day. Right. And I walked by, you know, and there's like 200 kids out there. Yeah. And I just thought, God, it, 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 it used to be like us. We used, to be, in that, we used to be in that very studio. Yeah. And there were 200 kids outside. Mm. And now I can just walk by anonymously. And they were kind of looking at me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I was like, I kind of like it this way. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. It's relaxing. Yeah. 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 It's relaxing. We, were just wanna, you know, we just want to be able to play yeah. our new songs to a new audience. Well, hopefully there'll be a bit of a new audience as well. Well, I was just um, going to ask you about that. Because obviously the new album, I mean, you need to tell me about the new album. You've mentioned a couple of tracks already. But d does it feel strange playing the classics when you're going I mean obviously the Heaven show and you've got the tour coming up in December as well mm. does it feel nostalgic for you to play the old songs or because obviously you know like, a lot of your audience would want to hear those well, of course mm. we're going to play mm. them obviously, so what we've actually done this time round is we've really tried to go back and listen to the records because mm. George has adapted his melodies a bit we've all adapted the way we play them and it's sort of become a little lazy so we've made a real effort to go back and almost relearn them as we played them Yeah. in fact and I think it took a couple of people by surprise particularly Do You Want to Hurt Me we've stripped it right down now yeah. you know it's like we're playing exactly what's on the record mm -hmm. you know and, and it's fun doing that because that's challenging but our, yeah. I think our, our stuff is just I mean the, the, those timeless hits from, from the 80s just sound so good when we go back into rehearsals to play Play them. It's strange. It's a strange thing. It's like, it's they're like, like old friends. They're like yeah. old friends, yeah. but, they, but they don't sound dated either. They're, and they don't. You know, you're not sort of fed up of playing them. They're not. There isn't anything in those songs that can you, you can say really sort of marks them out as tracks from the eighties. There, there aren't sort of blaring synth sort of sounds and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That you can say right. That is definitely something from the eighties. True. They're just you know they're just timeless and they feel so good every time we go back and play them. And how would you sum up the new album? Um, are you hoping for... Well, you're obviously hoping for new fans as well, because I would imagine that it's that kind of album where you will have a lot of new people embracing it that it, weren't necessarily into the stuff it, back it in the really, 80s and it 90s. Really, it really... That's it, the exciting bit. It, yeah. yeah. It, when we played the songs back to back, you know, we played a couple of old ones and a couple of new ones at Heaven, they just went together really well. And we weren't thinking about them when we did them. It really is like the 2014... The, the youth said a great thing. He said, we have to make a record that's timeless but of its time. Right. Like, Ooh, that's good. Yeah. So hopefully, I mean, you put it on and you know it's Culture Club, but it also doesn't sound like Culture Club when we were 21. It mm. sounds like Culture Club, a more mature Culture Club, mm. but it, you can tell it's us. You mm. know, George is, George is down about, you know, a good couple of tones as well. So he's got a little richer tone to it. A bit huskier. Yeah. A little bit huskier. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. that though. Yeah. Because yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. like his voice is it's matured. Matured. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like yeah. a. Like, I wasn't going to say like a fine cheese, but that no, no, sounds no, wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> like a fine I think wine. George would prefer fine wine. <laughs> yeah. A fine red wine. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good stilton, isn't it? <laughs> i got to say congrats on your Q award as well. Fantastic. Yeah, it was, that was really on. Except they put us worst possible spot. We had to follow Wilco. Oh, yeah. Who's just survived cancer. Wil Wilco Johnson. Yeah. yeah. And made this whole speech about, how, you know, he thought it was his last show. And, I mean, and they're like, and oh, now it's Culture Cup. We're like, 
We can't follow that. Yeah. The guy's a, the guy's a living miracle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's had a massive tumour. Yeah, yeah, so he's, he's, yeah. he's survived and everything, yeah. which we were really pleased about. Had the yeah, audience, no, I love Had the audience around. almost in tears. Yeah. You know, and then and then it was like, okay, and now <laughs> Icon, Culture Award. Club, <laughs> Icon Award for Culture Club. And we were like, uh, okay, how do we follow yeah, that? No, George, is, George is funny. He said, well, I don't know what to say after that, but I'm so happy for you, Wilco, yeah, man. Yeah, That's yeah, genius. Yeah. You know? I'm, that I'm, I'd like to say that no, on behalf of Culture Club, Wilco. We love you, Wilco. We love you. So cool, man. And we're really pleased that you came through. <laughs> and finally, I've got I've got so many questions for you, but we're, we're out of time, Sally. But I've got to touch on the tour as well, because the tour kicks off in December. Yeah, it does. And what a fantastic support as well, Alison Moyer, because oh, you, yeah. you're meant to normally pick the rubbish bands to no, support to make yeah. yourself look better, no. but you don't need to do that. We obviously. wanted somebody... But she's amazing. We didn't want it to be an 80s thing. Yeah. So we didn't want to go for the regular, oh, we'll get Heaven 17, ABC, whatever, just play their old stuff. We wanted somebody from that era who's still current yes, and made a new record yeah. and wants to go out and who's who's a real talent. I mean, and it's a great album. She, well, new she could have been born in 1920 and she'd be a star. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. Or she could be born now and she'd be a star. You know, and, and hopefully we're the same. Do you know what I'm yeah. hoping is that maybe we'll speak to George and see if we can get her to come on, on board. And, well, I was going to ask you. Come yeah, on board and do something, amazing do something with us. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Church of the Poison Mind, maybe something. Yeah. I, don't know. I can hear her doing that Some, as well. She's something. got that gutsy vocal. Oh, no, like she could. Of course she could, yeah. yeah. Or Black Money or That's or, it. That's the way. Watch this yeah. space. Yeah. I'm very All excited right. about the tour. I'm very excited about the album. Is it next year? It is. Yes. It's March. Yeah, yes. I think March. Very, very excited about it. Listen, guys, thank all you right. very much for thank chatting you. to me thank today. Thank you, Phil. Cheers. And all the best with everything. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.